financial statement analysis series where we will be discussing a horizontal analysis. So this is analyzing the same company but analyzing the information from one year compared with another year. So to do this we'll be using our period data to complete this analysis, this horizontal analysis, which compares two different period financial statements to determine a dollar change and a percentage change. So to do this we will need a formula and that formula is our numerator will be the dollar change between a base year, a predetermined base year, whatever that is, and the year that we're analyzing. We will take that dollar change and divide that by the base period dollar amount. So to get an idea of what we're talking about here, let's just look at an example. So we're going to use Enchanted Designs, their um, comparative income statement here that we have in front of us, and using 2006 as our base year and 2007 as, our, as the year we're analyzing, and we're going to create a horizontal analysis. So here I've recreated it in a little small little spreadsheet. And we'll start with total revenues. So the first thing we want to do is calculate the amount change. So to do that, we simply get the difference in our base year and the year we're analyzing. So the difference here, or the amount of the change, is $57,000. Now we will also want to calculate the percent change. So what's the percent change from 2006 to 2007 with regards to total revenues? To do that, we take the amount of the change, which is $57,000, and divide that by the dollar amount of the base year, which in this case is $373,000. When you do that, you will get an increase in total revenues from 2006 to 2007 of 15.3 percent. Now to give you some practice if you will push pause on your player right now and go ahead and calculate expenses, total expenses and net income change in dollars and in percent. Once you're finished push play again and we'll look at them all together. Great, so hopefully you calculated these on your own and uh, you have some numbers in front of you that we can now check. So for cost of goods sold, the amount of the change, dollar amount, was $14,000. Your percent change should have been 7.4%. So just to recap, $14,000 is the difference in the base year of $188,000 and $202,000. To get the percent change, we take the dollar amount of the change, 14000 and divide that by the base year amount, 188000 That gives me 7.4%. Selling and general expenses, the change was 5000 The percent change, therefore, was 5.4%. Other expenses, the amount of the change was $3,000, therefore, that was a 75% increase. Total expenses changed by $22,000, thereby making the percent change 7.7%. Net income increased by $35,000 for a 39.8% increase. So let's look at a little question here. Why did net income increase by a higher percentage than net sales revenue. So net sales revenue increased by 15.3%, but net income increased by 39.8%. So there's a couple things going on here. A lot of the expenses are, or at least one of the bigger expenses is, is small. Other expenses is, is quite small that increased by 75%. Uh, so that wasn't a huge, huge change there because the number was, was small to begin with. But what we see is 
our total expenses increased by more than our total expenses. So this is what a horizontal analysis allows us to do. Instead of looking at just the numbers, we can actually look at these percentages and be able to tell what did total revenues do? What did net income do? It increased by 39.8%. It's a little bit more telling than just looking at numbers. For example, again, I, I turn back to other expenses. Those increased by 75%. However, they're small, small numbers. So the reason net income increases by a higher percentage than net sales in this case is because total revenues increased by almost double what total expenses increased by.